convert between degrees and radians. Now, you've never probably heard of a radian before because we've always measured our angles using degrees. Uh, but we're getting ready to look at our trigonometric functions. We've talked about sine and cosine um, in using them on the calculator. But, oh, I'm sorry. Are you good here? Okay. Um, Well, um, anyways, we're going to use radians. Okay, so let's establish what a radian actually is. So here's the definition. I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to actually show you on the picture because it's, it's difficult to understand the, the language. A single line of a circle has a measure of one radian if it intersects an arc with the same length as the radius. So here's what we're talking about. I've got a sample circle there. Uh, with a little um, arc and angle cut out of it, look, it looks like. Kind of looks like Pac-Man. Um, so let's say, for example, that the radius here is 3 centimeters. Okay, just say that the radius is 3 centimeters. And so what this is talking about is if it intercepts an arc that has the same length. Okay, so we've just been talking about the degree measure of these arcs. We're getting ready to talk about the linear measure of these arcs. So what it's saying is this arc also has a measure of 3 centimeters. So if I had like a floppy ruler that I could use to measure around this curve, its length would be 3 centimeters. And so that central angle there has a measure of 1 radius. Okay, that central angle right here would have a measure of one radian. Now, to relate it to degrees, one radian is approximately 57.3 degrees. Now, you don't need to memorize that. Okay, you do not need to memorize that. Um, I'm just trying to help you visualize about what the size of one radian is. You know about what 57 degrees looks like. It's, it's close to 60 degrees. You should have a pretty good idea of what that looks like. So a radian is a little bit smaller than 60 degrees. Okay? Um, but here's what we do need to know. Is we need to know the relationship between radians and the entire circle. So tell me this. It doesn't matter how big our circle is. I could have drawn a huge circle and I could have drawn a really, really tiny circle. Uh, the radian is still a standard unit of measurement. It doesn't matter how big the circle is or how small it is. Um, it's standard. Okay? So, if my radius were one centimeter, what would be the circumference of my circle? If the radius were one centimeter, what would be the circumference of the circle in terms of pi? So multiply it by pi. 2 pi, right? Because circumference is 2 pi r. If the radius is 1, then the circumference would be 2 pi. That's where this relationship comes from right here. Okay? The entire circle, 360 degrees, one revolution all the way around, is 2 pi radians every single time. doesn't matter whether the radius is 1 or 100. The uh, 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi radians. And so if we divide both sides of this equation, so to speak, by 2, then 180 degrees, half the circle, is only pi radians. That's the relationship that we're going to use a lot here in a minute, okay? And so that would be half of a revolution. We do need to know these relationships, okay? We do need to know this. We do not need to know that one radian is about 57.3 degrees, but you do need to know the entire circle, 360 degrees, is equivalent to pi radians. Half the circle, 180 degrees, is equivalent to pi radians. All right, now, um, a lot of you have had chemistry, right? So remember when you're converting units, when you have to go from like moles and grams and stuff like that, remember how you convert? You've got to put what you're getting rid of on the bottom so it'll cancel. We're going to do the same thing here. If we're trying to figure out how many radians are in 90 degrees. Okay, we're going to use this relationship. Pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So we want to get rid of the degrees. So 180 degree 
Radians is going to go on the bottom, and Pi Radians is going to go on the top. Now, I'm going to drop the word Radians here in a minute, but I just want you to know when you look back at your notes where that came from, okay? <clears throat> so the degree symbol, so to speak, is going to cancel. Now, when we do this, we're not going to multiply out the pi, okay? We are not going to multiply out the pi. So in our calculator, all we're going to do is reduce the fraction. 90 over 180. Hopefully you can do that one without a calculator, but anyways, that would be pi radians over 2, all right? Pi radians. I can spell here, okay, um, technically one pi, okay, and so we always, we just write that as pi over two, okay, that's going to be pi over two, which kind of makes sense, right, 90 is half of 180, so we're talking about half of pi. Uh, now, I want you to start getting a feel for what this looks like on this circle, so I've got a circle there. Um, I have a red line on mine, yours just looks like a thicker line. That's where we're going to start. So if we start measuring, um, here's a 90 degree angle. We know that. Uh, so I want you to label your circle with 90 degrees and pi over 2, just so that you start to associate those two things together. Okay, 210 degrees. Same thing. We're going to multiply by pi over 180. I'm not going to work right up the word radians, okay? It's understood that if we do not have a degree symbol, then we're talking about radians. If there is no degree symbol, we're talking about radians. So this would be 7, we put the pi back on top, 7 pi over 6 radians, okay? So I haven't been very nitpicky about it, and most of you are pretty good on your quiz today. Uh, you put the degree symbol with the... Uh, angle or arc measurements, but I'm going to get more picky about it, okay, because if you do not put a degree symbol, it's understood that that's radians, so 90 degrees or 210 degrees is very different from 210 radians, all right, so you got to make sure that you have it. Um, 210 degrees, if we start on the red line, 180, you know, would be halfway around the circle, so 210 is a little bit beyond that. So here's 210 degrees or 7 pi over 6 radians. It's the same angle, it's just a different unit of measurement. It's like measuring uh, the 3200 meter race in track. It's not exactly, but it's pretty close to 2 miles. Okay, so 3200 meters, 2 miles. Same distance, different units. Okay, now I know that one's not exact, but just... All right, 345 degrees. Multiplying it by pi over 180. Again, just simplifying that fraction. 345 over 180. Fraction 23 pi over 12 radians. 345 degrees is almost a full rotation. So we're over here right below our line where we started, and that is the same as 23 pi over 12 radians. Okay? It's not difficult, okay? It's just remembering that relationship, pi to 180, uh, and knowing how to simplify. Now, we may have to go the other way. We may be given radians and asked to uh, give the degree measure. So let's look at those. Example two, pi over three radians. Uh, so I would write it like this, pi over three, so that I see, okay, I'm starting with radians. I want those pi's to cancel, so this time pi is gonna go on the bottom and the denominator at 180 degrees is gonna go on top. What happens with those pi's? They cancel. One's in the numerator, one's in the denominator, so they cancel. So then all we have to do is 180 degrees divided by 3, which is 60 degrees. Okay, again, I'm going to be nitpicky. you got to put that degree symbol. Okay, you have to put that degree symbol because 60 degrees is very, very different from 60 radians. If one radian is 57 degrees, then 60 of them is going to be a whole lot of degrees. 
All right, 11 pi over 6 radians. Okay, multiplying it by 180 over pi, the pi's are going to cancel. So then we just multiply straight across the top and divide by the denominator. So we get 330 degrees. All right, 3 pi over 4 radians. Same process, multiplying by 180 over pi. 3 times 180 divided by 4. Oops. 135 degrees. Now, this last one, 5 radians. There's no pi, okay? Well, that just means that the pi isn't going to cancel out. So this is the one case where we are going to multiply out the pi. So 5 times 180 divided by pi, 5 radians is approximately 286.5 degrees. Okay, it's approximately 286.5 degrees. So 5 radians, very different from 5 degrees. You've got to put that symbol on there. I think it's you have to put that symbol on there if it's degrees. All right.